What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to give you a quick overview tutorial of the Cal scheduling platform and its different features. So you can use Cal to schedule your events, meetings, set available hours and more. Now if you go to cal.com, that's their homepage right here, and if you scroll down here you can learn more about the platform, you can connect all your calendars such as Google Calendar or Apple Calendar, you can set your availability times here so that people can book your uh, book appointments based on your available times you can share your link for people to uh, like go ahead and schedule their appointments with and if you scroll down here you can see more about the platform more screenshots as well as you have workflow automation such as the ability to be able to send uh, have automatic sms messages sent to you like 10 minutes or an hour before a meeting and you can connect all your calendars as we uh, did mention. Here you can schedule for your teams and for your clients. You can connect many like external uh, platforms such as Slack, Zoom, Google uh, Calendar, obviously uh, Stripe and so much more. Now here, once you scroll down, you can see some reviews, some testimonials and that's it. Now, if you take a look at their pricing pretty quickly, go back to the top and view the pricing. Here for individuals, it's free of uh, charge, uh, up to one user, hosted only, unlimited events type, and so much more. Now for teams, it starts at $15 per user per month, organizations, $37 per user per month, and for enterprise, you can contact them to get the price based on your number of your team. So you can compare the benefits of each plan right here. For me, I'll just get started with the free plan. Here you need to set up your username, your email and your password. So I'm going to add them pretty quickly or you can continue with Google right here. So I'm going to enter my information pretty quickly here. Okay, now I can send to privacy policy and create account. Okay, username already new. So let's add some random characters. They seem like something is wrong. Let me change the email. Okay, let's start once again. They've sent me an email with the verification link, so I'll have to go to my inbox and click on the link here. Okay, after I clicked on the verification link, I need to add more information. So username, I need to add my full name and my time zone here is set based on my location. Okay, now next step. Now I need to select calendars in order to connect them to my uh, account or I connect my calendar later, so I'll do so. And here I need to connect my meeting software, such as, such as Google Meet, Zoom, Discord, and others. And also I can sign it, set it up later. Okay, now I need to set up my available time. So let's say I'm available Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And here I can copy this time to like other days. So if I set, for example, uh, for Monday here, I'm available from 8.30, I can copy it to all weekdays to apply of course excluding saturday and sunday and let's for example add another time on monday let's say on monday i work from 8 30 to like 3 and then from 4 to 5 from 4 to 5 here let's select 4 to 5 like i'm having a break between 4 uh, 3 to 4 pm okay looking good next step and now I need to add a profile photo and write like an about me section. So this is a test account. Of course, you need to add your own information. Let's finish the setup. And I'm on my main dashboard here. And here I have some uh, events that are generated by default. So 50 minute event here, secret meeting and 30 minute meeting. I can add new event type or like new meeting type, let's say I have one hour meeting, I can add it right here, one hour meeting, okay, and the duration is 60 minutes, continue, and it's created successfully. Now, I can set up the events, the availability is during the work hour, I can set limits, I can have advanced uh, settings like for calendar and stuff like that. If it's a recurring or repeating schedule, I can add apps right here. So if I click on apps, I can browse the app store to add apps. If I click on workflows, I can create a workflow or set up a simple automation for this event. Like for example, sending an SMS message to remind me like 15 minutes before the uh, meeting starts. Now, 
here I have bookings and I have all my bookings, my upcoming bookings, unconfirmed, recurring, past and cancelled bookings. Of course, there are no bookings yet because this is a newly created account. I can set up here my availability, which I've set it up once I was creating the accounts. I can go ahead now and copy them or duplicating them or deleting them, adding new times or add a new like schedule or availability schedule here. If I click on new, let's say this is like for my vacation and add other times. Now here I have teams. I can create a team here for my company, for example, my teammates. And here in apps, I can manage apps as well, such as conferencing apps, calendar apps, automation apps, and other apps, analytics apps. So let's take a look at the automation apps here. I can have Zapier, Wipe My Cal, and other apps to automate tasks. Now here I have the routing forms. And this is, uh, I required a paid plan here. Here I have my workflows. Of course, I haven't set up any workflows or automations right here. So here I have some samples. Send me an SMS or email like once a booking or event is booked or uh, before the meeting, as you can see here. I can create a workflow from here. So let's create one right now. I can send email to attendees here of a meeting. Sender name is cal.com and the message template is reminder or I can uh, collect readings as well. Now this is like the uh, email format, the event, of course, the attendee name, event name and date and time and attendees you and organizer include calendar event as well if you want to. And here you can add the action. Of course, you can add a name for the workflow. You can apply to all meetings or only the selected types of meetings. As you can see, the one hour meeting that we added is here. Okay, I delete, can delete workflow or add the action. So let's add the action. And now save the automation. Okay, I need to add this field, email subject, uh, meeting reminder and the body as well let's say meeting reminder as well of course i'm just adding some random uh, information okay include calendar events now let's save once again and now is this workflow is saved now we have insights and i need to create teams in order to view the insights analytics of course i haven't anything haven't uh, added anything right now so i cannot see anything and here you can access the settings, view the public page and copy the public page link. Now, um, that's pretty much it. That was like a quick overview of the cal.com um, booking and meeting management platform and its different features for your business.